Putin orders Russians to stop work for a week amid record COVID daily deaths. Here's a summary of the article. Russians have been told to take a paid week off work in order to try to combat the COVID-19 crisis in the country. As the number of daily deaths from the virus hit its highest level since the start of the pandemic. The move comes as Russia, which has been one of the hardest hit countries by COVID, battles a rising COVID death toll. To date, There have been 227,389 COVID deaths in Russia and it has recorded over 8.1 million infections. Russia's daily cases and death tolls have been creeping up for weeks now, largely because a significant proportion of the population remains unvaccinated. COVID vaccines are proven to greatly reduce the risk of severe infection, hospitalization and death. On Wednesday, Putin once again implored Russian citizens to take up the vaccine stating that, we are seeing the dangerous consequences of the low vaccination levels in our country. I repeat once again, vaccination really reduces the risks of severe illness or serious complications after, and the threat of death I also once again urge all citizens to get vaccinated. This is about protecting yourself, about your safety, even your life, your relatives' health. We are particularly worried about the growing death rates from COVID-19. Recently, we have been losing over 1,000 people every day. These are terrible figures. This post received a score of 26,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Lol is a Russian. I can tell you right now that this week will mean a shit ton of partying, so basically a lot of cross-contamination. Herd immunity tears of joy Slav style. It seems like every other generation something comes along that just wipes out a ton of Slavs and they just keep powering through it. We're going to have our population cut down by 30% or something by the 2100s. We will still find a way to survive look of triumph. We are about to see some real crazy videos through the next week lol. If I knew how, I'd invest in Russian vodka stonks. Well, you can do that. There's a ticker for you, Belu on Moscow Stock Exchange. It's premium Russian vodka brand Baluga, pretty popular and widespread in the county. The most popular alcoholic beverage manufacturer in Russia is Baltica, I think. I can't find their symbol on the US market because I'm dumb. It's not traded on US markets. The symbol is BLT1T though. I could go for a bacon lettuce T1TTY right about now. I'll take two shares, please and thank you. It's been a bear market lately. Rub my nose in it. Would you like some cocaine between them, sir? I'm in Moscow right now. No masks anywhere, except for those worn performatively below the nose. No distancing, low vaccination. No one cares to even try the most basic precautions. It's utterly bonkers. Rue is at 32% vaccinated. Good luck. Terrible news considering Russia had a vaccine, production and didn't take the initiative to inoculate the population. They don't trust Sputnik vaccine and the other vaccines not that available in Russia. I mean the vaccine does appear to make you throw yourself from third story and above windows. Only if you have pre-existing conditions of wanting a fair election. Spillover is crazy over there. A virus that jumped from ex-spies, to journalists, to doctors, to election personnel, and finally to political enemies. And it can even reach you years afterward when you have no contact at all with the country of origin. Very peculiar case this virus is. When people don't trust their government they're less likely to follow public health advice. Russia has spent decades instilling in people that politicians are corrupt and just out for themselves. They're all the same, and there's nothing you can do about it, so there's no need to vote or get too worked up about it. The problem is of course when you need everyone to pull together. Like we do now. You can still pull everyone together, but the threat needs to be more serious than just COVID. China was able to skirt it because of totalitarian control, but Russia doesn't quite have that power over society. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.